Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. Really like today, not extremely near record warm. We're not talking about bitter cold. It was just a nice, pleasant Wednesday in November, and I love this sunset. I mean, what a gorgeous view. Uh, before we know it, too, we're going to be getting ready for the holidays, too. Uh, already, we can see for the holiday weekend, uh, Veterans Day weekend, we've got Lewistown uh, all ready to go there, too. So uh, something that we have to keep in mind moving into the weekend. Are we going to be dealing with dry weather for any plans? And the simple answer is yes. All right, so we've got 54 right now in Gettysburg, Camp Hill, Lewistown, Lebanon on the lower 50s. Winds are going to be shifting. We showed you at the top of the show. We're going to get a little chilly here the first half of tonight, and then we turn around and we're going to actually warm a little bit later on overnight. So our coldest part of the night is going to be 11 o'clock midnight. Then we'll begin to warm. So lower 50s, but you can kind of see what's going on. So we've got a lot of warm air. It almost hit 80 in Cincinnati today. Springfield at 74. And then it is a little bit chillier. I mean, this I wouldn't consider this cold for November. I mean, Milwaukee at 51, that probably feels nice. Uh, we've got 50 in Minneapolis, so there's obviously something, some sort of boundary separating those two air masses, and certainly there is, as we have this warm front beginning to lift to the north. It's going to allow another day of mild and somewhat breezy conditions. Remember yesterday how warm it was? Uh, I'm not quite sure if we're going to be getting 75, but we're going 70, uh, and we're going to have a front that moves through, and that front... Uh, not really going to provide much in the way of rain. Uh, there could be a sprinkle, but I mean, it's really looking like 99% of our day is going to be dry. Here's 8 o'clock in the morning. We can see that front. Now watch what happens. It just kind of falls apart. There's really not a whole lot of moisture with it. So it's moisture starved. Uh, it's going to create a bit of a wind, but we've got sunshine to follow. So the cold air doesn't rush in right after it. That's why we're going for 70. It does gradually get a little bit cooler here moving into the weekend. Uh, Friday, we have more clouds, so that front, another area of low pressure moves along that front. I'm not quite sure we're going to be totally overcast, but uh, there certainly will be some clouds around Friday. I still think both days are going to be generally dry. There's just not a whole lot of moisture with either of these systems. Uh, moving then into the weekend, 50s. Our coolest day is Sunday and Monday, near 50 degrees. I know it sounds chilly, that 48, but that's closer to uh, the average high than what we've been the last couple of days and what we saw here, or see here for tomorrow at 70 degrees. We've had a lot of very warm conditions here, so it's going to feel good. Uh, I did want to show you the drought watch map. I'll show you that okay. coming up okay. in the next show because okay. some places in a drought watch now. All okay, right. Eric, mm -hmm. see you back soon.